Hello there everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am back again today with another project for Birch Press Designs and you can find the coordinating blog post linked below and it is on the Birch Press blog. I'll be focusing on these three sets today, the Lingo Stamp, or the Lingo Thanks Stamp Set, the Big Friends Sugar Script Die, and then the Butterfly Garden uh, layer A, B, and C. I also just wanted to show that I store them in the envelopes that they come in because they're really high quality and it helps me to figure out uh, which goes first, second, and third. It seems like it would probably be pretty easy, but if you're moving quickly, you may mess up. So I like to keep those handy. I'm going to be using this piece of patterned paper here, but you could make a watercolor panel and then cut it out with your own personalized watercolor panel. I think that would be really cool. Uh, but I just had this handy and I thought just to save some time and to be able to use some of my pattern paper, which sometimes goes unused, that I would use that. I'm going to be using my Gemini Junior today. So to do that, you do your first base layer and then your plastic shim. You then go ahead with your magnetic shim, and then you'll go ahead and put the die and then the paper on top of that upside down. So the reason that um, I am just doing them together is because I've already taped the die to my pattern paper, and the pattern that you see here is obviously just the back of that other pattern. You then go ahead and put the other clear or spacer or cut plate actually on top because that's going to be the side that it cuts. You push it through and it goes through all by itself. It's genius and it's wonderful, especially for Birch Press Designs dies. And you can already see how smoothly and wonderfully that is cutting out there on the left. It's cut out all those tiny little pieces and uh, it's cold and dry here in Massachusetts. So it's even sticking there because of the static uh, in the air. So I am just going to go ahead and show you a couple of these butterflies that they've cut out. I'm going to save that uh, plate die and put it off to the side because today I'm going to be using just the butterfly die cuts. And I love this idea because it's a way to use your scraps, which would normally go in the garbage. So I'm going to be using plate C now, and I'm going to be using that with vellum. So again, we've got the first spacer plate down, the plastic shim, again, the magnetic shim, and then the die itself. And then I'll go ahead and put the vellum right over that. I wasn't too worried about where it was going to cut out of the vellum because I knew I just needed a few of the butterflies. I'm going to go ahead and put the cut plate on top, but I did change the orientation because for the Gemini, uh, sometimes you can get a lot of warping in your cut plates. So if you switch it around often enough, uh, you don't get as bad or as much warping, I have heard. It's worked for me so far, but I've only just had this about a week, so I'm really excited to have it. So as you can see there, all of the cuts again stuck to the uh, cut plate, which is great. Um, and you can see all of the detail that I get in this vellum piece, and I'm definitely going to be using this in the future. So I'm going to put that, uh, go ahead again and put that to the side. So my idea for this is to look like butterflies are in flight. So what I want to do is put these tiny little butterfly pieces on top of the watercolor pattern paper butterflies. So I'm going to roll them so that they have a bit of dimension. They're not flat, but I am going to leave the larger butterflies flat. So you can see that the wings are curved up a bit and that helps it to appear as if it's moving or in flight. I'm then going to go ahead and take my glue and just place a very tiny bit in the center of those flat butterflies and then adhere my vellum butterflies just in the center there so that you still get the dimension of those wings curling up. I thought that maybe it looked like I said like the butterfly was in flight almost like you could just see the wings moving and I really loved that idea. The main focus of my card today is going to be just a few of these butterflies. I made more than I needed only because I had all of the cuts and I want to keep them for future cards, uh, but also I wasn't exactly sure which colors I wanted to use on the card. So I wanted to make more than necessary. One, like I said, because I had the materials already, but also because I wanted a variety and I wanted an option of which colors I'd like to use. 
So I'm just finishing up now. I've got smaller butterflies and larger butterflies and the vellum butterfly pieces also come in smaller and larger variations as well. So I'm just making sure that I match them up accordingly. And here are all of the butterflies that I have made. Again, like I said, I'm not using all of them, um, but I wanted to have a nice variety and a set of options. For my sentiment today, I'm going to be using the Big Friends sentiment or the Big Friends sugar script die. And again, I'm going to put that through my Gemini Junior. And I'm using a piece of rose gold metallic or mirror cardstock. And I think it's going to add a lot of sparkle or shine to the card front, which I think goes really well with the butterflies. I went ahead and cut the actual word itself out of a white cardstock, and I'm going to be putting this on a white base uh, or white card base. So I wanted to make sure that it stayed fairly simple because I am going to have lots of colors and this rose gold metallic cardstock shining as well. And I just wanted to make sure that I didn't go too crazy with the sentiment or this really big uh, word die here that's going to really be the focus of my card. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just starting to set things up where I think I would like it. And I'm going to use the Lingo Thanks stamp set, which is one of my favorite stamp sets for sentiments. It has everything you need, uh, especially if you get the coordinating dies with it as well. You can go ahead and cut out those large words. And I love that about this uh, stamp set. I decided to use the love and hugs sentiment from the set and I'm going to go ahead and emboss that on a black piece of cardstock with white embossing powder. So I'm using Versamark ink to stamp this because it's a very sticky clear ink and it helps the embossing powder adhere to the ink in where I have stamped it. You'll notice that I used a powder bag and that's just to make sure that the embossing powder doesn't stick to anywhere else besides where I have stamped. Now I'm going to go ahead and heat this with my, or set this with my heat gun. And I am able to hold this one because there's enough uh, paper for me to hold on to, but generally I would just do this uh, laying on my work surface. And I use a wire paper trimmer to cut the sentiment into a very thin I like to use my wire paper trimmer for this because I can see exactly where the razor is going to cut. I'm setting it up how I think I would like it again. I do end up changing this a little bit as you'll see in a moment, but I know that I'd like my sentiment to have friend, love, and hugs, and then have a few butterflies around. So here is the final card. As you can see, I only used uh, three butterflies, but that's okay. That just means I have more for future projects. I also changed the location of the love and hug sentiment uh, strip, and I just put it right underneath the friend word die. To adhere the butterflies, I used foam tape just to have it add a little bit more dimension and interest to the card. I also used foam tape for the love and hug sentiment, and I added some gems in there, just iridescent gems to add some more sparkle. Again, please go to the description to view the coordinating blog post, which is on the Birch Press Designs blog, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again.